Oh. And the, yeah, and the, and the, well, that's got a lot of texture in it. I don't know who did that one, but um, Van Gogh worked with really thick, heavy paint right. and a lot of texture. And if you're within, you know, four to six feet, you're too close. You have to be 20 feet away or more in order to really appreciate what he did, you know. I mean, it's nice to be able to get up close. But then, you know, all the way through, people are commenting on, oh, you could really see how he was losing his mind in this one. And, you know, and it's like, where did the paintings go? <laughs> yeah. You know, I mean, it's there. It's almost like, oh, well, now I've seen him and now I'm, I'm special because I saw Van Gogh exhibit you know but i i didn't see a van gogh exhibit i saw a los angeles county museum of art exhibit that fucked van gogh all up as far as i'm concerned you know but it's just that's kind of the nature of the art world now is yeah. it's not really about the art it's about some kind of publicity is uh it's about you know you can you can become more famous i think by being a critic of art than being an artist I would love to say, okay, fine, you paint something. Try right. to replicate this. Yeah. Mr. Critic, let's see. You, you do that. Yeah. And, well, don't get me going on, <laughs> on that stuff. But, you know, I saw the early, the early paintings of Picasso. He, he painted normal paintings. Yeah. And he chased what he liked. He, that surrealism, that he, he just liked that. He, he could do photorealism. He yes. just chose not to. He, right. Well, and the other thing about Picasso, and this is the part that I'm beginning to start to comprehend, and I think Dolly was another one that captured it, you know, and a lot of the modern artists that we have now that you know of are, did the same thing, and they, and they created a personality. Right. Picasso created a personality for his public, and then his artwork became an extension of that personality. Thank you, sir. You know? Instead of, it, and, it, and it wasn't as much about really the quality of the art as much as it was that Picasso did it. Well, but I, I so, know Picasso would go, he would go to, and get coffee, and, and then it. he would pay for it by signing it, yeah. a napkin or something with a little drawing, and then just leave it there but and expect seen, them to be okay with it. Have you seen his line drawings of, that's a donkey, and that's a deer, and they're, the simplicity that you were talking about or, and they're beautiful. They're very cool. Single line drawings, quickly, simple. Um, that's something I aspire to, learning to get down to that simple a point where you can create yeah, something. There was a series that I saw by him where he took a bull and he actually drew the bull fat, healthy, and then he broke it down. He literally de deconstructed it in a series of drawings down to stick figure yeah. and then back up to fat. You know, and it was just like this experiment that he did. But yeah, I think, you know, he was he was the kind of artist that you almost have to be anymore if you're gonna be a successful artist is you have to be a person that you have to you have to be great at your art and you also have to be an interesting personality and know how to market yourself. But that takes up the question of commercialism. Do you want to and this is something I was just, just talking with my wife about, do I want to find a style that sells and do that and pander to commercialism or do I want to that's personal choice it's whatever you want to do and you have that choice yeah but I don't know you know I mean you're not you, but I think I think you need to make that choice uh, if you want to to go big and make a name for yourself and sell your art and make money then you need to make that decision early on and not be afraid to put that price on your paintings. It was like your wife said to um, the, the, the painter, I don't remember the name, but uh, double your price. Oh, yeah, my mom said that to, your to mom, Melvin. Your mom, I'm sorry. Yeah, he wasn't yeah. asking enough because his were beautiful. Right, yeah. double your price and, right. Yeah. Sell your art and double your price is what you said. But my big takeaway <clears throat> is my art is not going to happen unless I set goals and I discipline myself every day to do something to become a better artist. And part of that is keeping a journal. Uh, I was told The Artist's Way is a great book to help you learn how to do that. And, 
and keep a journal with you so when you travel you you not just write down your thoughts but you sketch a little something from the memory mm -hmm. of the of the event if you spend a time at, at, at a cabin in the mountain then note that and, and jot some sketches down that helps to move you in those in, in that way yeah and I'm going to take it one step further and, and put it all on Facebook Hmm. All yeah. those, all those sketches, and all the keep track of all that oh, stuff yeah, and document. Oh, you do. Is that what your Facebook. your New Year's resolution is? Is well, you're you're gonna create a uh, an artist I profile created, page? I created a, an artist page for myself. Nice. And then and I'm you're gonna, gonna post... try to do the five posts a day for three months, ah, separate from your personal Facebook page. Yeah. Yeah, interesting. And it, and it's a page, it's like a business page where people can go to like it. They don't necessarily have to subscribe they or can't be, be your friend. friend they or... can't apply to be your friend. All they all they do is like it. And if they like it, then whatever you post gets posted on their home page, you know. But they can't make snarky comments on your well. Oh, they sure well, can. I mean, they can comment on your posts, yeah. I mean, and and you can respond as in yeah. turn as as yourself, but it's yeah, it's, it's exactly what you're saying is to set the goals and work every day. It's just in a public way. Right. Wow, that's 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 cool. That's audacious. <laughs> but that is the new, I think, that is uh, anybody, and, uh, and I'm, I'm going to dare to say this because I've been an artist for a long time, but I think in this day and age, that's... You've got to if you're, if you're serious about being a professional artist, that's how you do it. Yeah. You have to engage the... the the Make internet. Yourself, you yeah. have to en engage the internet, and you have to well, be a, a human being. Yeah. The internet is amazing because we're here in Portland, and we're local local Portland artists. But that doesn't mean we only have to sell to people in Portland. Right. Somebody in China could like my art, right. and they could buy it, and I have no problem sending it to the people in China. Well, they could walk past that building in India with your. <laughs> well, yeah. <laughs> Please, that would be so cool. <laughs> Well, guys, I ap appreciate what you're doing with okay. the blog, and it, it's really it, it's it's really cool to be part of it. Thank you. Thank you. I mean, this your time is worth so much to us. Well, I, I appreciate that, and I'll tell you, I'm I'm again taking my message from Chris, saying you, you I got to support any anybody who I felt like yeah, I've kind of gotten support. I need to support as well. So that's uh, Randy Westfall. Westfall Art. WestfallArt.com. Mm -hmm. Go check his stuff out. And this has been the Art Life video blog, uh, day 51. New Year's Eve. New Year's Eve. Have a and, great time. Uh, tomorrow will be 52, but it'll be the first day of the new year. So 365 interviews next year is our goal. That's a good goal. Um, and we hope to see everybody at 4th fucking Friday. Everybody's going to be there. You should be there, too. So uh, we will see you tomorrow. Love you. Peace. Love you.